<clears throat> hey, buddy, what's going on? Welcome back to more. Let's play Rack and Clank last time. We decimated a Blorgan warship here on the Blorg Station. This time, we're going to be taking everything that we can. Alright, now I just want to get a couple things here. The Glove of Doom that I mentioned before. Which especially can be good here as well. But what's not so is the Taunter. And I will be showing what this does. Right around here. Because this is... It's not a very good weapon, I'll say that. If you even want to call it that. Because... Nobody does. <clears throat> That's all it does. For... I guess... Quote unquote... Practical... Applications... We'll be seeing this a little down the line here. Right, can I, come on, can I, can I get you? I can. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, there we go. It's kind of one thing I don't like about quick slides is the fact that everything still goes on while you're doing this. It's <clears throat> it's kind of something I don't appreciate nor approve of, but hey. If you're new to the game, I don't blame you for using this. But this is the main application of the taunter. Yeah. <clears throat> All it does is annoy your enemies and lure them to a death trap. That's not something I like to do. And for a newcomer, this is the only one time they'd be useful for you. Unless you're actively going for 100%, in which case there's another, no, there's another application for it. That's not until way late in the game. So I wouldn't worry about it for now. Sorry for that, I had to send a quick um, response via Snapchat, but okay. <laughs> yeah, now you know how to Snapchat. I will not be giving that out. But I believe what we need to do is that. There we go. I guess there is one practical use for the Taunter. Is the fact that you can use it to break crates. Also, uh, those crates in particular are very taunter proof. That's interesting. Yeah, they got horny toes in there. It's kind of a. <clears throat> it's a little bit of a beginner strap. So be careful about that. However, if you're, if you're smart enough to use a taunter on that, you can read that out right away. So, another application where the taunter can be useful for Simers. For and also, I shouldn't see hate my green like this, but I want to go for this. Simply not a good idea if, uh, because you can rack up so much damage from these vents. And uh, ultimately, you could get yourself killed by doing this. By doing this. Right, you gotta really watch yourself here, and yeah, I, I didn't think I'd be able to survive that. Time it just perfectly, not just perfectly, but time it, it really, really carefully, you can get through there roughly in escape. I'm gonna go and smash you down. I, excuse me! Ay, 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 okay. <clears throat> there is nothing to excuse my playing sloppy! I 
Okay, I'll happily take whacking a um, <clears throat> explosive crate and not serving any any kind of consequence for it. Yeah, I'll 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 gladly take that. You gotta take up these um, aliens in order to even progress any, any further. So. Yeah, <clears throat> just the fact that when you, just the fact that smashing one of those, those uh, awakens one of the um, neat aliens to begin with. Yeah, that's kind of a thing. Actually, I should probably. <laughs> I forgot I already had some horny toes within the barrel already. Okay, um, I'm just going to take it out from, take it out from down here, if that's fine with you. Okay, I can't do that while flipping. I'm not going to be able to do that if I'm down here! Okay, and right when we hit a checkpoint. Okay, that that was a slap in the face. Oh well. <clears throat> I get matter too much. I can easily get back up here. Okay. I'm going to use a suck cannon here. Kaboom! Yeah, this is yeah, this is an example of how good the suck cannon can be. Gun. No, no, no! That is not what I was trying to break, right? Here. You know it. Hi, 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 hi! I swear to God, right? Here. But, uh, what is? If you boost jump right up here, got a cape full of horny toads, and a gold bolt, and another one of these devices. Although it's a here, it's not particularly useful. Although I guess it can be good for some reason. <clears throat> I mean, I can't imagine why. Once we're able to utilize those, I'll get into the the why it's not particularly useful there. But if you want to use it for any reason, you're going to want to remember where it's there. Okay, I'll suck cannon you to death. You know, suck cannon right. Suck cannon. Verb. The act of uh, suck cannoning. Verb. Yeah, keep using a suck cannon. Uh, ex expect them to like that for me from going forward. And okay, this is kind of dumb. You have <clears throat> two platforms there. One with one space alien, another with two, and you get a lone space commando here. Okay, sure, whatever. You know, I'll demonstrate the Club of Doom here, because this is excellent. And I'll release a pod with four explosive, well, sentient bombs. They actively stuff out enemies, 
which is really, really good. They got a decent amount of strength in them as well, so... Yeah. Let's see, go in, once we go in here... Enter the Alien Queen. This thing can be pretty easy to bring down. All it does is walk towards you and just bite you. <clears throat> it's not that remarkable. No, I wanted the bar section. Thank you. You know, you want to keep one of these horny toes alive, specifically. Okay, I did not follow my own advice there. Uh, okay, there, there was, there's an exploit that I uh, was trying to show there. I would be able to easily do it here and after, after I take out another of its segments. What's else? <clears throat> Alright, there you go. Is that as long as there's the standard enemies in play, I got my ass burned. Okay, fantastic. The only queen herself will just run away from you. In fact, she won't even attack you as long as there's standard enemies on the field. But that's done. Okay, with these guys on the field, I kind of want to go in the standard weapons when you change my weapons that way. I'll take the show. <clears throat> Roger will have these various animations and when you slide different weapons. Which is a pretty nice touch, I gotta say. A lot of these are <clears throat> rinse and repeats. But I like this. He will juggle a couple of those Doom guys. <laughs> That's incredible. Just that much, that much detail going into this game is just amazing. But before I go onward, I'm gonna go ahead and smash all this stuff up. Get both same as always. But go through here. <clears throat> we see some horny toads, but they're not coming after us. They are going after this poor sap here. So we're just going to. Like them all. Huh. Thought I was a goner this time. Some nano whip in genetics must have left the cages open again. You can come down now. Honestly, a gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect, if you ask me. So you are an inventor. Gadget engineer. I create revolutionary devices for Executive Chairman Drek. For instance, Viola, my soon-to-be patented grind boots. Look, I, I I need to get out of here so I can find a new job. How about I sell you these? At cost. Sell? <coughs> After we just saved your scrawny butt? All right, all right. I'll give you the employee discount. <coughs> <coughs> okay, on one end, um, Rika has a point, but at the same time, <coughs> this is uh, a lot to do with the uh, corporatism that is at play here. <clears throat> One instance being we had to buy that prize from Helga. We had to pay Big Owl to um, get the upgrade done. And now we have to buy the grind boots from this gadget engineer. Well, thanks. I'm going to get out of here while I still can. <clears throat> hmm. 
Which it, it kind of does make sense that you have to buy the grind boots from him. I mean, one has to make a financial living after all. Which... <clears throat> Speaking of that, actually... I on purpose rejected from saying this back when we got the uh, Halipack. You know, the idea of needing to make a living financially. In the reboot, when you go up to Metropolis and meet up with Big O, he does it for free. Yeah, even though it's a service that you gotta pay for, he still just does it for free. For whatever reason. And I selected the Trespass for game, don't lie to me. My god, game. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the log with a sock cannon. But yeah. Critique about the reboot aside, this is my favorite thing in the game. Same claim to explore outside the stadium because Ratchet is a um We're getting light for him, he can't breathe out in space. So we're having our little dude do this for us. We're all a lot smaller. <clears throat> and once we get to some enemies, we'll see just how um, Plank right here attacks. And we gotta be really careful here, these narrow walkways. <clears throat> <clears throat> to further expand upon that story about me being the worst Ratchet Plank player, you have no idea how many times I fall off of that narrow walkway there and died over and over and over again as a result. I was here for a surplus an hour. Not fun. Just... <laughs> Alright, now you see those crates right down there? Try as you might, you cannot break those crates. Well, <clears throat> not now, anyways. We will still we'll start seeing seeing those crates more often. I mean, hell, I think we've seen a couple instances of those crates here aboard the station, but. <clears throat> Unless you have explosive force, you are not going to start this crates anytime soon. Okay, just gotta carefully tread around here and... Yeah, honestly, with how long this particular... My... Ah, no, 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 no! That happened to me! I was going to say, I'm amazed I was able to clear this mission at all. Given the fact that we just keep falling off those narrow pathways. But whatever. <clears throat> Apparently I still fall off these pathways every now and then. And if you look over there, <clears throat> that is a gold bolt that we're not going to be able to obtain for quite some time, so you're going to want to remember that thing there as well. I just traverse right here and jump up. These are my favorite segments because, well, indefeatable enemies! Yeah, that's why, that's my favorite. We can't get past there! Oh no, what are we gonna do? Go over here and enlist some help. These are Gadgetbots! Break this open and these will follow you. You have your four basic commands here, which will replace your weapons in your quick select. Wait, which tells them to stay put. 
you can tell them to follow you. And any enemies that are <clears throat> impossible for you to face on your own, you can have them attack for you. Yeah, that's basically how you're gonna get past some of the larger enemies that you can't take on yourself. Basically, our objective here is to take these gadget bots and send them into the bot port by using the inner command. Unless you have the required amount of gadget bots, you're not gonna be able to go through there. Did all this for? <laughs> yes. Flex those non-existent muscles! <laughs> I swear, Clank, you are something else. <laughs> yes, we got a high gear displacer. We will need this for our planet rail cars, which is our next upcoming planet. That's kind of why we're here, before going off that way. But yeah, my favorite gameplay segment. I'm back. So you are. And I found this. Hey, cool. It's a uh, uh what is it? A hydro displacer. Great. I always wanted one of those. I guess. <clears throat> I'm questioning just how Frank was able, even able to fit that thing in his compartment. Especially given the circuitry going on in there. I won't question it. It's video games. <clears throat> but, that being said... This is where we're going to end things off here. Next time on Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, off to Planet Railgar! To take part in the Hoverboard Championship in places Kid McMarks. And thanks, Captain Cork. That's pretty important as well. See you guys then.